Good day YouTube. This is just a quick video on the quote unquote the App Store on Linux Mint 19.1. A lot of people don't even use it. Notice it's even there. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. It does have a few basics. It doesn't have everything, but there it was a moment ago on the screen. I'll show you guys how to reach it. All you need to do is go to the start menu, quote unquote, whatever you want to call that one there, and type in, uh, actually, sorry, we want to type in software. And there we go. So click on software manager there, and here it pops up yet again. So uh, what we can see here is uh, a few categories, a few options. Uh, most people just jump to games uh, because there's not always a great deal of things that you want on here. In fact, uh, if you watch my channel, you'll probably know most of the time I install things through the terminal, and there's not a great deal of difference. It is technically a little bit faster if I wanted to install FileZilla and fingers crossed this works right now but I would type in uh, so control alt t for the terminal sudo apt install FileZilla. guess it comes down to spelling it right, throw in my password and let that install hit yes and enter and off I go. If I were to do that from scratch through the software manager, let's see how fast that little puppy is there. So I'm going in to find the software manager there waiting for it to load now. This mean, In the meanwhile, this is going okay for it. And having a graphical glitch, you know, it did come back through there, good. And uh, let's go, oh, see, it's not on the front page anymore. So if I was to look for it, I would have to therefore search for it. So let's give that a red hot go. I can't even find it now, I guess. Oh, here we go, great. Uh, and then we've got different versions. Well, so we've got the fully featured graphical FTP one, and then we've got the flat hub, which is, some across what uh, yeah, actually something else. It's most likely this one. It's uh, it is the name that it is, and then we hit install there. Then we start this process here. So it is a little bit slower, perhaps. Uh, it does have its own uh, set of uh, uh, I guess little quips and things that it can do. Uh, it is good if you want everything in a row and you you like uh, Apple Macs or Windows machines sometimes and you just want to get onto the old App Store there. Some things that you didn't even know were available or some things that you just purely forget about like Audacity, that's quite a popular one there. Uh, Office, Office applications for all of those that are new to Linux Mint or any Linux distribution for that matter. You got the option for a few things here but surprisingly not everything. Oh no, you do. It is just super slow uh, to load. But it's all there. Uh, well, some of it is some of it's not obviously uh, so otherwise you can go through the terminal to install things that are in the repos that are available or through uh, online like any other computer operating system but uh, yeah it's there it exists it might be helpful and there it is so cheers guys just a fun quick video hope you've enjoyed please leave a comment please subscribe and all of those good things